7 Proven Strategies to Lose 2 Pounds a Week Welcome back viewers! Many experts say, that losing 2 pounds a week, is about as fast as you should hope to safely lose weight. So, how can you accomplish this? Well, in this video, we give you some great ways to do this. The actual weight that you can safely lose in a week, depends on several factors, ranging from your weight, and body fat percentage, to how much sleep you get, and your daily activity levels. In general, people should expect to lose about 1 pound a week. However, it is possible to lose 2 pounds a week, without putting yourself at the risk of muscle loss, and nutrient deficiencies. Losing weight all comes down to keeping your number of calories in check. One pound of fat is made up of about 3,500 calories. Therefore, this is how much you will need to burn in a week, to lose one pound. So, to lose two pounds means you need to reduce your caloric intake by 7,000, or burn that amount throughout the week. This can be achieved through a combination of exercise and diet. Now, if you are short on time, and do not have time to watch the whole video, then just click the timestamp topic in the description that you are interested in. Otherwise, keep watching for some really incredible info. Now, here's some trivia for you. Can stress really cause weight gain, and if so, then how? We will give you the answer at the end of the video. If you like our info so far, then please like, share, subscribe, and hit that bell to stay informed. How to lose 2 pounds per week So, exactly how can a person lose 2 pounds in a week? Well, here are 7 actual, and science-backed ways to help. 1. Reducing 1000 calories per day The most foolproof way to lose weight is to measure, and track your calories. You can do this by measuring your food with measuring cups, a scale, or with a calorie counting app. But, subtracting 1000 calories a day from your diet is a lot. So, you may also reduce your intake by 500 calories, and then burn the rest off with some regular exercise. 2. Fasting once or twice each week Weekly fasting may sound a little extreme, however, some studies suggest that people can lose about as much weight, if they're eating every day, or every other day, so long as they watch their total amount of calories. Just pick one or two days a week to eat nothing. You can have black coffee, water, herbal teas, and any other zero-calorie drink, throughout these days. 3. Eating low-calorie satisfying foods if you do not want to keep track of calories, then just eat low-calorie foods that are super filling. This is not a diet plan, but it is a good way to set yourself up for success, and get a handle on your eating habits. The following foods are full of fiber and water, and you can eat as many of these as you want, including apples, broccoli, bell pepper, celery, cucumbers, cantaloupe, peaches, strawberries, watermelon, and zucchini. 4. Eating more fiber and protein Fiber and protein digest slowly, and both are a very filling. Plus, protein takes more energy to digest, than do carbs and fats. Lean beef and pork, chicken breast, legumes, cruciferous vegetables, low-fat Greek yogurt, protein powders, and all those high-water fiber foods mentioned before, are your weight loss friends. 5. Cutting out an entire food group Cutting out certain food groups, is how many popular diets work. For example, the paleo diet drops processed foods, legumes, and grains, the keto diet drops carbs, and low-fat diets drops fats. Spending a month or two on a low-fat diet, a low-carb diet, paleo diet, and so on, can be an effective way to reduce your calorie intake, just because there are so many foods on the don't eat list. 6. Walking 10,000 steps a day Walking is a dynamite exercise, and 10,000 steps a day will burn approximately 500 calories. This means, that once you reach that goal, then you just have to cut out another few hundred calories in your diet. This can be done by substituting dessert, for some Greek yogurt and fruit, and by ditching a high-calorie granola nut bar, for some high-water content vegetables. 7. Doing a hard workout Obviously, you can also lose weight by exercising more. Losing weight does depend on your metabolism, but 10,000 steps a day, plus an intense workout can help you burn over 1,000 calories in a day. The trick is to find exercises that burn a lot of calories. 
compound movements like push-ups, barbell rows, and jumping rope, will all help build muscle, while burning the fat that you want to lose. Always use wisdom when trying to lose weight. And, if needed, talk to your doctor about any specific health issues that you may have, regarding the best way for you to lose weight. Now here is your trivia answer. Stress can cause weight gain. Whenever you're stressed, your body kicks into a fight or flight mode, causing it to release the hormone adrenaline to help you fight off the perceived threat, that you're feeling anxious about. To build up energy, to deal with this threat, your body also releases glucose, or sugar, into your bloodstream. When your adrenaline wears off, and your blood sugar levels drop, the hormone cortisol jumps in to continue addressing the threat. Cortisol triggers sugar cravings, and increases your appetite in general. Giving into those cravings by eating, could lead to weight gain. If this video has helped you, then share a comment about it below. And also, share it with your friends. Thanks for watching, and check out some of our other great health and fitness videos shown here. And, remember to like, subscribe, and hit that bell. Thanks again.